name is Sojiko and I'm the winner of the 2018 NLNG sponsored Nigeria Prize for Literature. It started when I was in junior secondary school then, GSS3 to be precise. There was this young girl who is sharing a, a seat beside me and then she, she draws and captions the dialogue of uh, the characters that she had drawn and I, I wanted to do something like that too. but I was very bad at drawing. So what I eventually ended up doing was to bring out dialogues instead of drawing and that was where the tendency to write just came on. Challenges are, um, some of them have to do with infrastructure, you know, sometimes you want to write and then you find out there is no light and putting up the gen upsets your sensibility, creative sensibility. Uh, you want a very uh, noiseless ambience to write you find out that it's difficult for you to, to uh, get that. And uh, so many of these things that we give you comfort to write, you have to expend so much amount of money uh, to get them. And for writers in Africa, you know, most of us are not uh, millionaires. So we had to just struggle between all these limitations. I, I just sit down and decide I want to write and then I imagined that it's difficult for me to put out something that uh, wouldn't be worthwhile. And that gives me some sense of uh, uh, inspiration. That inspires me to just keep on writing. You are called a writer. And then at the end of the day, be careful. You don't want to write something that people will say, no, it's not worth it at all. It may not necessarily be the best of writing, but at least it's worth the time. So that gives me some sense of inspiration. Out of all my books, I, I think the current one, Embers, uh, has been the most challenging when I'm writing because I, this is the first time I'm having a large body of cast. You know, usually I like having minimal characters in my work, but for Embers, I have an extended body of characters and I had to manage all of them. Well, Embers is a dramatic work uh, situated in the IDP camp uh, in northern Nigeria where victims of the Boko Haram uh, mayhem have been settled in government uh, infrastructures. It tells the story of some uh, girls and women who daily recount their experiences in the forest of Sambisa. But uh, unfortunately, those girls have been indoctrinated while they were in the forest of Sambisa. And they are in the IDP camp as potential Boko Haram uh, uh, people themselves. So at the end of the day, they end up blowing up the IDP camp, expressing their frustrations at the government, at what they even do to themselves as individuals. And at the end, they just blow up the camp and say, let's just have this thing ended. It took me three weeks to come up with the initial draft, but then I had to work the draft through for over a year. I had to keep working on the draft before uh, arriving at the final uh, polished version, which eventually went for publication. For me, I, I don't think people do not read. I think Nigerians read and they read massively too. If you see, uh, young people, especially these days, you see them online. They are apparently reading something or writing something. It is what they read that we need to now start questioning, that we need to start defining. Uh, do people read what is appropriate? Do they read real literature? That is the question that which you start. And I am not in a position to actually uh, know whether we read the real thing or not because I have not done any anthropological research on that basis. But I know we read. But what we read is the question. I had made up my mind since 2014 when my earlier play got on the long list and did not win. 
that I was going to apply for the next one. So it took me four years to get prepared to work on a new play and for someone to have lost something and to go back for for four years to go and rework on something else, you know, the quality would uh, be of a higher standard than the previous one. And that was what I actually tried to do. I came up with something that was more quality. So if it was among the last 11 in 2014, I was optimistic it would be among the last three in 2018. I, I write poetry too. I write poetry. That's another kind of genre that I write. I write short stories, like you've mentioned, and poetry is too. The most uh, conducive space to use language, I would take drama. But which of the genre am I very convenient writing? I would take short stories. As I'm talking to you, I can sit down. If you give me an assignment, I can write 10 short stories in one day. Yes, but for drama, it takes longer time and it gives ample opportunity to craft out languages very well. As the winner of the 2018 uh, Nigerian Prize for Literature, my advice to potential applicants for the prize should be that when they are writing, they should set out their minds that they are writing something of quality. Because that is one thing that the prize does not compromise. It must be of high quality. Quality in terms of publication, quality in terms of language, quality in terms of the technicality of the genre involved. So they must set their minds at the outset when they are writing on all these things, if they are thinking of winning. Winning the NLNG prize, to me, as uh, uh, on the uh, uh, public outlook, has not changed the way I behave, the way I do things. I, I think that was because I practically uh, taught myself how to be modest with life. But then on the uh, covert uh, angle, I won't deny that it has really given me a very uh, solid financial base. Now the fear that you want to do some things now or in the future and there will be that uh, financial hindrances. Uh, the fear is no longer there. So the, the money is there to propel some things for, for my future and the future of my family. From anywhere that I am, that I can get a little bit of sanity. It can be anywhere. It can be here that we are. It can be even in the parks where those rowdy uh, activities take place. But then uh, it's a continuum. It does not mean I have to think up the whole idea at that particular space. Ideas flashes from different spaces and I do bits of the writings anywhere I find myself. In pulling out uh, together all the ideas and the writing, that is when I have to look for a very convenient and noiseless ambience to actually do the pulling together. And in doing that, I probably lock myself in the office or wait until the middle of the night when every member of my family is asleep. Then I go to the study and try to pull things together. My name is Soji Cole and I'm the winner of the 2018 NLNG-sponsored Nigeria Prize for Literature. You are watching Guardian TV.